Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com New Windows 10 build to look at This is build 18980 for Windows inside on the fast rig and this is a 20H1 build Notice the build strings change it said instead of RS it says VB and also I noticed that the installation was quicker as well I'm, this is one that's running on the Hyper-EMI Surface Laptop 2 but even my Surface Go which has got it installed was quicker as well and when I went to update instead of it doing the preparing to install for ages it just came up here with the download button and I clicked that and it just started downloading straight away so it seemed a bit quicker to install there's just a couple of changes with this build uh, Cortana is now kind of the pinned out there rather than that being the old audio interface and for Cortana they've um, split the language uh, requirements so it's not OS based it's based on the language that you install so you could have a unsupported language of Cortana in your main operating system but if you've set that to US English it'll work the Cortana for US English and they're going to add more languages as well the other changes are uh, for Windows subsystem for Linux they've added support for ARM64 devices so when, when we start to see a few more ARM devices uh, Windows shipping uh, you can use the Windows subsystem for Linux on that. Over on settings, the uh, additional features has changed. The other optional features dialog box. Let's have a look. Here's the optional features: um, WordPad and uh, Connect, and some other stuff are, are now optional features. But when you add, you can search. So you can search for something like um, Connect or. I think it was, it's called wireless display, isn't it? Wireless display, there you go. You can, you can find the optional features a bit quicker. The rest of the changes are all still fairly minor. There's a lot of fixes. They fixed some issues with um, Outlook. They fixed some issues uh, with 98 on, sticking on 98% during the updates. There's use language improvement fixes. Um, so devices were enabled as hate as hard drives in Task Manager. They fixed that, so they remove for removal storage. Um, they fixed some issues with syncing settings, ease of access, and um, there's still plenty of known issues. Reset this PC still requires an additional five gig of of storage space uh, if you're going to use the cloud option. And uh, it's, the cloud option is still blocked if you're using some things like wireless display, fax and scan, some of these optional features that we're, we're looking at here. And um, there's the usual ones like Realtek SD cards, uh, anti-cheat software. And if you're using Windows Mixed Reality, it still treats some 2D apps as protected content so it won't record them. So that's things like um, the feedback at Hub app. Um, the Microsoft Store 3D Viewer they won't they won't capture because it thinks they're really protect, protected content. So those are the changes of this build. It's not a huge amount, but I quite like this change anyway. Uh, I like to record the changes. You can see them all on the YouTube channel, right back to the very first Windows 10 build. And uh, more on the digitallifestyle.com. You can follow me on Twitter if you want at Dixon. Thanks for watching.